to have you back on, mate. Um, I think last interview you did with Leeds, when I think that was started, bad run on it, where yeah, 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 things have changed since then. So, so much more positivity. And I messaged you before game, didn't I? And I said, I hope we're talking about a win. We are doing. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a big, big win because it pulls uh, Uddersfield back into us as well. Because if they'd have got results today, It'd have been quite a big, big gap. It was something like 10, 10 points now it's yeah. down to four. So we, and we've pulled a few other teams because a few other teams have dropped points today. So it's pulled it, pulled us in, pulled them back towards us and put and get, get us a bit more chance to get out of it. Yeah. I mean, home, home form of the last few weeks has been brilliant, hasn't it? I mean, we've we've been... look. I mean, West Brom, we look brilliant. With, we just look so much better. I uh, think Struber's plan's finally, you know, it's coming to action now. He's got it all set up. It looks, it looks that way, Mo. It looks that way that he's got the players that he's wanted, where he wants them to play his way, basically. And at the moment of time, they're doing well. It, yeah, we had a few dodgy results at the beginning when he first came in, but obviously, more training, the more hours they do on training ground, the better they're going to understand his system and stuff. And obviously, he's getting rid of dead weight that he don't want at club and stuff, getting rid of players, thinking, nah, he can't play my system, need to go, like he did with McGee, and like he was going to do it over uh, quite. Probably three or four, maybe three me more players, I'm guessing, would probably go out. So, yeah, the, he's the buying into his system, which is good. And what I like to see, what I like to, in his interviews that he's been doing, he was calling it a family. Yeah. The squad, a family. And I, I love that, man, when it's a family because it's togetherness. Yeah. And every player, I mean, it's a family, you fight for each other, and then players will fight for each other. <laughs> I bet Mike's picked that up. He will have done. That won't me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop because of that. <laughs> What's the <that>? eight? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, over 90 minutes though, I mean, brilliant, wasn't it? I mean, we usually, usually see in like a 45 minute spell, and but over 90 minutes now, we seem to go to last whistle yeah. every game. Well, yeah, it's um, working, whatever he's doing anyway. They've been able to do not a 45 minute team or a 60 minute team before players start blowing out their asses. They're going 90, 90 well. Today it was 97 yeah. minutes, but they kept on going, they kept on going, and that's what that's what I like to see. You've got to play 90 minutes. You can't just think, oh, not like a George Rookie Munker who can play 60 minutes and think, I'm fucking knackered, I want to go off. You've got to go, and the professional footballer should be able to do 90 minutes plus week in, week out yeah. as a professional footballer. Yeah, I, I mean, I, that's one of the best performances this season, um, and it were important that we at least didn't lose. Or did, did What would you have said before the game? Would you have said it's elite, uh, must not lose, or we've got to get three points? I'd have been disappointed with a point. I'd have the real win we needed, and I would have been wanting to win. Where we've been playing at the moment, and his own form, like you said, he's been starting to make it a force. So I'd have been wanting a win, and we, we did. We put performance in, got the result we needed, and needed. And yeah, I'm, not, I'm absolutely over the with results, and I can't get wait to get to work on Monday. No, I'm going to say it's not always nice on Mondays when Barnsley's won. But what about window before window shuts? Few players, would you still bring a few more in? I'd ex probably expect a couple in, maybe. I'd probably, after that, I'd probably say definitely in the centre half, yeah. for sure. And depending on how I'm going, really. If w Woodrow goes, then obviously you're going to have to replace him as well. But if not, I'd still I would still bring in somebody else. But at the moment, yeah, two in. And I'd say probably Kivari gone. Will go, Tiam will go, Green will go, Cam McGinn's already gone, and I think one of the young lads said that McDougal, but I don't know about that. Yeah. Well, it's all positive. All positive at the moment from over here from Barnsley, so all good. You Reds. You Reds.